Hi, I'm Jason Bellini in Beijing. Earlier today, I spoke with John Amici. He's an out former NBA player who's here in Beijing. He has an interesting role, actually several roles. He's wearing a number of hats, and I had quite a few questions for him. So take a look at this piece about what John Amici is up to in Beijing. I am uh, working for the BBC. Um, uh, as commentating for the indoor sports, if you like, and basketball primarily. Um, on the other side of things, I'm an Olympic ambassador for Amnesty International, so here I am speaking, I, I think, on behalf of the Chinese people uh, in regards to some of the human rights issues uh, that the Chinese authorities have not yet addressed. And there are probably hundreds of them here, even though six of them are out. Uh, so, uh, it's just not really that surprising, and, and again, I always think it's, we have to be careful, it's not an indictment of sports that there are only six out uh, gay athletes, it's an indictment of the society within the sports. Yesterday I went out to one of the, uh, one of the gay bars here in, in, uh, in Beijing and I met a, a football player, actually, um, who is out in his own capacity but not necessarily to the whole of the national media. So, um, From what country? Uh, I'm not going to say what country. You can but even say the country. No, <laughs> I just don't think it's not, you know, it's not my job to, to, to expose people further than they wish to be. I think the fact that he happens to be an attractive man who's just come out um, is going to make a splash. People will pay more attention. It helps to be beautiful. But uh, I think uh, if he's beautiful and talented, his impact will be doubly impressive. There are wonderfully warm people. Um, and my issues with China, with Beijing, are not with the people. Not with the people who've rolled out this, this welcome map that's been truly amazing. It's with the authorities who, who would oppress and suppress them. So I am having fun here. Every time, every time I have an interaction with somebody who's so clearly gone to great pains to learn English so that they can interact with the visitors, so clearly made such huge efforts, to me it's just a, it's a vindication. It's another reason why I should be stepping up and speaking on their behalf because they make such great efforts and are such warm people. It's quite inspirational to go halfway across the world and, and see a completely different culture. Uh, that alone. And then also the fact that there is a human rights um, advocacy point of view to the blog as well. But I did think it would basically be just me banging on about different issues of human rights and instead it's become something where I'm talking about uh, my experiences here, this, the people that I'm meeting that, are, as I said, are so warm and wonderful. Um, so BeijingLegacyBlog.com is where I'll be uh, waxing lyrical. I'll have more reports from here in Beijing in the coming weeks at 365gay.com. I'm Jason Bellini in Beijing.